Today we're improving the mob farm. Alrighty, so the mob crusher is in here. I completely missed the industrial foregoing made it into the pack. I don't know where I missed it, but I did, which means we also have this thing called a wither builder that we are going to be creating. I'm so excited to make this, but we do need to get a lot of things going. And this is our goal by the end of the episode is to get one of these built, but we need ether gas and we get a laser drill from drilling into a wither. So there's quite a bit going on. Um, I'll walk you guys through that in a second. But yeah, we need to get to the mob crusher so that we can start with the mob farm. Um, we're also going to need a mob slaughtering factory. Um, let's have a look here. Mob slaughter factory. Here it is. This will give us the pink slime that we desperately need. Um, but we also, we, we really need to just get started into industrial foregoing. So yes, while this is a video about the mob spawning tower that we are creating, uh, we're really um, we're really getting into industrial foregoing because that's how we're doing it this early in the mod pack. Now we are on version 0.0.50, so there's that for your 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 brain. So let's get this far departed. All right. So in order to make the mob slaughtering factory, we need pity machine because we pity it, and we need plastic, right? So we get plastic from dry rubber, we get dry rubber from tiny dry, dry rubber, and we get this from the latex processing unit. And in order to make this, we need some latex, but we get latex from the tree thingamabob or doohickey. From the fluid extractor, that's, that's the right term. Yeah, this gives us latex. I don't know why this doesn't pop up. Oh, it does. Oh. They finally fixed that. Normally, it wouldn't tell you. And then we need a latex processing unit. Actually, we already had that. But first, we need the fluid extractor. And so what we're going to do is grab a few botany pots here. And we're going to set up a semi-automatic extractor situation or thing. A fluid extractor. All right, so we got 10 of these guys crafted up here, so we don't need that, but we do need a block placer. So we have a block placer here, and we need plastic. Okay, so it's not going to be uh, automatic just yet. We'll eventually get there. We need to make some rubber. So we're going to need some logs, and we got a decent amount of them. And then we also need a flux capacitor. No, I'm just kidding. We need a flux point. We need some pipes. Very good. So I figured we could set this up in a little corner over here for now. Oh, they placed that way. They placed this way. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Now, in the long run, we they won't be placed like this. Do these both work at the same time? Three. Yes, they do. Very good. Very good. I like that. All right. So then if we put... Oh, give it some more power, babies. Like so. And then we go click, click. These guys should be moving significantly faster in which they are. But we should probably put some upgrades. Upgrades, people. Upgrades on those. Oh, did I hit a button? Yes, I did. Actually, we're going to grab those. And we're going to get... Oh, I really don't like how Applied Energistics has been doing that lately. But we need a tank. And we do have the dark tank. And we can create one of these guys that holds a lot of fluids. Perfect. And we will put him here. And then we will take all of the fluids out from here. Boom. Cats, what are you doing? They're being crazy. Yeah, we're getting lots of latex. Let's have a look, see here. We've already got over a thousand, cool. So if we grab a bucket, like so, we can grab a latex bucket, shebang, and we can create a latex processing unit. Oh, we need a pity. What a pity. We're going to make two of these eventually. Um, but we're going to make one for now. Yeet. Okay, so this will go here. 
this will go here we'll go like this we'll go like this we'll go like this boom we got all the latex we could ever want beautiful so then we can run this cable over here so now it's got power and next all we need to do is create a sink we're gonna make another one i know we have one right there we're gonna make another one because i don't want to take that one i like using it yes all right hey so this will go here and shabing shada boom we are making latex booyah tiny dry rubber let's go all right and then next we're gonna put this here we'll put this like a so and this will take all of the tiny rubber and we will create this guy booyah that's what we love to see Alright, so I made an obsidian furnace here. Uh, we're gonna pair it up to the reactor over here, like so. And that will let us, let us leaf. <laughs> That'll let us run this. Bink. Input. Output. So this gets that, we put this in here, it smelts up. We put this here, put this here, and we pull out, and boom, we got ourselves some plastic. Oh yeah. And this is actually what's holding us up, is this is too slow. So we eventually need to do some upgrades. Upgrades, people upgrades, but this is giving us our latex. You can also put this up vertically so it looks a lot better, but yeah, super simple, super duper simple. So it comes out of the fluid extractors, goes into the tank, goes into the latex processing unit, which requires latex and water. Once it has those, it creates the tiny uh, dry rubber. We craft that together in a three by three and then throw that into a smelter and then it smelts into plastic. Perfect. So now we can create things. Mob slaughter factory. Yep, we can create. And what is a mob slaughter factory good for? Well, just about everything you can ever think of. Um, what are we missing? Missing an axe. Must ask you a question. There we go. We got ourselves a mob slaughter factory. This is going to give us pink slime. Uh, and then what we need pink slime for is the dissolution chamber. So we're going to make one of these real quick. Uh, we need some pityness. Need to be pitied. Wow, that's an interesting recipe because you can just use four diamonds. <laughs> and boom, we got ourselves the first dissolution chamber. Perfect. So we're actually gonna create one more of these uh, right next to it. Booyah. So now we have uh, essentially the exact same thing right over here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna put the latex, not the latex processing unit, we're gonna put the dissolution chamber over here. So, uh, have I made one of those? Oh, I did. What am I doing? We can just put it right here. So we're gonna get our fluid out from it like so and we can place it like that so we get lots and lots of power put these in here as well okay so yep there we go this is fl uh, filling up with uh, latex which is amazing and then we have 144 buckets worth of uh, storage back there so now we need to work on this oh and that requires netherite scrap which requires ancient debris which we need to mine for nether. What does the nether say? Why level 15 is the best? 15, no, 13. 13 is the best. Okay. So I guess we have to go mining. That's fun. We'll do that. Okay, so I'm just getting done uh, brewing up some uh, fire resistant potions for eight minutes. We have a total of six of these guys. Uh, so we should be more than good to go mining and get some ancient debris. I don't think we have, uh, I don't think there's no way to turn this into the vision thing yet. Oh, voice crack. Did you guys hear that? That was terrible. 
Yeah, so there's no uh, ancient debris site, which is a bummer. Because that would be nice. <laughs> We'd find it. Um, infernal Tear. Netherite Scrap. This is uses, not like what we get it from. I wonder if there's a way to get it from Create. Wait, what? Oh, Ancient Knight. Oh, I bet you we could put him into a powered spawner. Ah, where the heck did the Ancient Knights come from? Okay, that's got my interest, but we need to get some more Pronto. So I'm going to be doing that. We got Vein Miner set to the 3x3. And we're gonna go to Y level. We're gonna go to Y level 13 somewhere, and hopefully we win. Okay. So if I go down here, should be a good success rate of not running into a lava pool. Okay, we're on Y level 13. Alright, we're gonna drink a fire resist. And then I am gonna hold this. And we're just gonna run. Somebody else had the same idea, that's funny. Well, onward and upward. <gasps> Yo, we found some! Let's go, Ancient Debris. Oh my gosh, a second one! Is there more? No. Maybe I should have had a night vision potion too. Anywho, I'll be mining here for a bit. What am I doing? I'm mining a hole. This is modded. We have builders to do this for me. I feel dumb. Okay, so we got a chunk loaded here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this guy. We're gonna call it Nether Quarry. Good, so now we can come back here whenever we need. All right, and then we're gonna put the chest on top. We can, oops, yeah, tell that to stop. Okay, we're gonna get, make sure those don't come in. That should be fine. Void gravel in that. I think this was at minus two, right? 19? No, okay. So that needs to be at zero. Whoa. Good. Okay. So now if we do this, Y level six, that means it's at five, and then 21. Perfect. Okay. So this is the right way to go. And ignored. We're popping. Okay. Now it's important that we go here because this is probably all going into our overflow right now, which is good that we have the overflow, but we need to be better. Yeah, so we're gonna tell this here and this to go here and here. We already got six of those guys, cool. So it is working fairly well. Raw Crimson. Um, honestly, I think we're just going to do this, and then raw silver. I thought you had a spot. Huh, okay. Well, I guess maybe we need to expand this a little bit then. That's interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, we can figure it out. But for now, we'll just put it here. All right, and then blackstone we'll put it here because it should fit in fairly well. Okay, and then resonating nether ore, we can put that here. All right, and then solium, perfect. We got, we're getting solium. That's gonna be nice. We don't have to go mining for it anymore. We can just throw that guy there. What else? Nether quartz. That's kind of important. Put it here. Okay, what else are we getting? Soul soil. Yeah, that's good. Oops. Put that there. Just probably turn off the chunk borders. I think that's it for what we're getting. Good. Yep, we're doing good. How are we looking? Oh, we're up to 11. Sick. We don't have to do any mining for this. It's so cool. Eventually, we'll just get it, and then we'll make some 
Seeds. That's right, we're gonna make netherite seeds. So we need 16 of these. We have, we just need four more netherite, our ancient debris. And then we can go ahead and make those. So we'll wait just a little bit longer. All right, guys, so a little bit more time has passed and we now have over a stack of ancient debris, not debris, debris. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and, oh, we gotta smelt this stuff up, which is good. We'll throw a little in here and a little in there and put some in your hair, maybe, I guess. I don't know. But uh, yes, so now we can go ahead and make some netherite. Uh, yes. Actually, we need the netherite scrap. Okay. Doesn't smelt in that one. Are we out of power? Oh. Hang on a second. Every time we update, I have to go through and redo this. It's kind of annoying. It's like every time we update the pack, I have to go in, tell it, hey, you can do this, that the thing you're set to do. So now, yep, as you can see, the coal's popping in there, nice and neat. But yeah, we were out of power, which makes me think that that's crazy. Okay, there we go. Now we're generating some power. Okay. So that's just... Yeah, it's just taking a while. Okay, so you go in there. You go in there. We're good. All right, so now when we look up netherite scrap... There we go. We got some. Good. Okay, so... We've got that. Um, we're working on this. So we need some plastic. We got the plastics down there. We also need to make this. Um, so we're gonna need a gold gear. We're gonna need a diamond gear. All right. We're gonna need some other bricks. I guess we gotta smelt those up, don't we? There we go. We got our nether bricks coming in. All right. We need some iron. There we go. And we need some pity. Good. All right, we got some. We need some gold. And then diamond gear. That should be it. All right. So, you here. Pity. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And the gold gear is in. There we go. We need, ah, uh, we need pink slime for the second one. Darn, I forgot. How did I already forget? I forget. I forgot how I forgot. All right, but we're gonna need to make a second one um, of the disillusion chambers. Don't be illusioned. This one is gonna be for pink slimes, specifically. And we'll put them right here. Actually, no, we'll put it here. Yes, pink slime will go into that. Okay, so we have the mob slaughter factory. Um, we need an ender tank. Ender tank, ender tank. Does whatever an ender tank does. I do have pink dye, and that's what we're gonna put here. Uh, and then we need two diamonds. Boom, boom. All right, ender tanks. Shabang, shaboom. We go here, here, here. Okay, they're both... They're both pink, I promise. Turn off shaders. They're not pink still. What the frick? That's so confusing. Whoa, did you see the code on that? That was a little crazy. Let's get a flux point going. All right, now the really, really... Oh, wait a second. I got a great idea. So, we're gonna grab a lever. And... Oh, wait. Hang on. We're gonna do some cool redstone stuff, I think. Yeah. We're gonna do some cool redstone stuff. I need a torch. Yeah. Yeah! We're gonna have it set up so that I can toggle between the mob killer here. So when this is off, this guy is on. So I think we can do that by powering this block here to turn it on so in the uh hmm, does this work yes yes it does so then 
We should be able. Is this off? It is. So when I flip this lever, that switch is on. And no. Why are you off? Oh, it's burning out. Um, I do this. Yeah, that's not good. That's that's not good. Okay, so I need some extensions. So here, maybe. Nope, don't do that. Maybe if we do this. Get rid of this guy. Okay, the circuit burnt out. Oh, this is a lot easier than I'm making it. Okay, all we need to do is go up like this, and this is on run with redstone signal. So then if I flick this on, yeah, so that's off, and now and now this guy's on. Perfect, that's, it. that's all we needed to do. We can just swap it. That's how easy it is. Isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? And then we can put this guy here, give it power. And so now this will kill and slaughter them. Anytime now. And do I have anything in here? We do, we got pink slime. Look at that. Okay. So what we need to do is set up two tanks, two of these dark tanks, one, two. Oh, that was weird. We're gonna grab a pipe. Oh. Pipe, these, that, slash back. Go. Oh, don't fall. All right, and so on this side, this is where we're gonna put our pipes. Boom and boom. And then we will put the tanks up here. So this is filling in with liquid meat. And this is filling in with liquid meat. Dang it, that's not what I wanted it to do. Okay, liquid meat goes in there. And then how do we filter? We need one more side. We need one more side. Hmm. Uh oh, I think I just lost those. Yep, I lost the flux point. Frick, okay. We're gonna use the top for power. Um, I think, I think we can do this. Falling out on all sides. Yep, this is still getting power. And now, okay, maybe it's the other side. Oh, I lost that other tank too. Frick. Okay, so this is simply just pushing this, the fluid into it. Okay, so this is this is working, uh, and then now all we need to do is set this up. But that, hey, no, no, I don't want to lose it. Fine, we'll do that. There we go. So this is filling up with pink slime. Perfect. Good. All right, now we come all the way over here, and we put this on top, and then we say, hey. Pull from there. Yes, look at that. We're getting pink slime. Beautiful. So now we need one more flux point. And with this flux point, we can put this guy right here, set it to our power network, and boom, we are ready to rock. So we put in boom, boom. We put in boom, boom. We do, where did you go? Oh, I never grabbed it. There it is. Put this guy here. I believe it's gold, not that. And this guy. Yep, this is it. Perfect. And we are getting more pink slime. And we do have a buffer uh, over there as well, which is good. But this also means we can start working on some speed upgrades too. So that's going to be amazing. And then the cool thing is, is if we want XP, we just flip that lever and we're good to go. Booyah, advanced machine frame. So now we can make the mob crusher. We can crush them mobs. Make a sword. Nice. Mob crusher. Uses. Machine outputs. Essence. That's good. It's very good. There we go. We got ourselves a mob crusher. And that means that we can go ahead and start working on all of these guys. Um, 
yeah, we need to find a spot to put our system. Okay, first of all, we need to set up an upgrade for this guy. And then it's quartz. Okay, so let's go ahead and we just need to use this and we get ourselves an up, a range upgrade for it. Um, and then we can also kind of work on these. I think this needs latex. Is this? Yeah, these are all latex, which we have automated. Check that out. We have 43 buckets in there, so we're good to go. But yeah, this is very needed for our mob crusher. Um, and then we can put speed upgrades into all of these guys. And they're going to take more power, but they're going to be way, way faster. But I think uh, down here, we are going to do um, some kind of structure in the middle. Uh, I do know that like maybe here there'll be a big big loop and then it'll lead into this kind of section of the area um and so because we have the skeleton spawner whoop, skeleton spawner over here i feel like we should just put all the mobs on, on this side and look at that we already got a an enderman who wants it to be over here as well so i'm gonna make a little arch and then we're gonna work on the mob killing chamber we'll make it look good okay so this is what we got so far now we don't have ethereal glass yet so the best solution like if we do need to get in here it's just going to be an elevator uh we're going to set up this redstone torch i know it looks a little weird i'm going to bring these uh cut tough bricks down uh here as well so it'll look a lot better won't look so weird but when this light is on the farm is on when the light is off the farm is off that's what we're going to be going with here so we're going to be copying the idea we had previously uh, with the sender and the transmitter and receiver so we're going to make one transmitter and then we're going to make quite a few of the receivers all right so redstone transmitter and then a receiver, a wide receiver. No, just receiver. Receiver, there you are. Four. Yeah, we need more than that. Twelve. All right, so 58 of them. That's going to be pretty good. So we're going to grab just some redstone here and make our way down so if if i'm correct i actually don't think we need any redstone we just do one of these and then if we i think if we just shift no yeah if we just shift click all of these okay receiver yep that now works cool so that means we now get to place these up here. So anytime a mob falls down to this level with the area, they'll be destroyed. And we'll put a speed upgrade in there pretty soon. But we want one, two, three. Actually, just two spaces will work. Um, and then actually, I think we're going to go up here. Like so. So the spawner will be there. Right. Okay. So they're all going to point down. Perfect. And then we can just vein mine. And then... Temporarily, I'm just going to bring this block all the way up. And yeah, that should be good. Cool. So we're going to supply power to the back of it. Wow, we made a lot more of these than I thought we needed. That's fine. Need a flux. Boom. Here. So now this guy has power. Very good. All right, we can seal it back up. And then we're gonna be pulling the items out down here. Um, yeah. Okay, so down here, this is where we're pulling the items into here. Like so, it's not set up yet, so we'll be okay. Um, put that there. Good, okay. Uh, so yeah, now they're going here. We're gonna take this, we're gonna click here, and then we're gonna click the backs of these guys and now these are linked up 
And then the cool thing is we can also click this and they'll also all be locked. And then we can take this over, say, to here. And we can get a trash can. And with the trash can, uh, this will be the priority to put things in here, which is going to be all of these spaces. And then the second priority is going to be the trash can. So that way, if anything ever overflows or extra items that aren't here, they're just going to get deleted right, right away. So that's really good. And so that means um, that this is pretty much ready. I think I should put a chest here, like a diamond chest. And the reason for that is this is going to be a priority here. And so if there's any items that eventually I'm like, hey, we're actually going to need these in our storage here. Um, we don't like, throw them all away. We can put a spot for them. And the cool thing is all we have to do is just run a cable down to here with an external storage and we'll be able to get all of these items in this spot. So what I want to go ahead and do is make some speed upgrades real quick so that it kills them, kills them pretty fast. And then we'll move some stuff over. Okay, so we're gonna make a couple of speed upgrades here. Um, gear, gear, and then that. So we're gonna lock that in for a bit, and then I'll, that'll allow me to just kind of swipe this couple times, and then we'll make the speed upgrades. So there's one, boom, or not? Huh? Okay, I was about to say, it's like we should be able to make that, no problem. All right, and now we're gonna make a speed upgrade real quick. And this is almost the same, except instead of blaze rods, whoops, we use sugar. And there we go, speed upgrade tier two. And that means that this one, this dissolution chamber will be way faster. Look at that. There we go. Cool, so I've got an energy upgrade and a speed upgrade that we're gonna throw over into this one. And I did leave a little slot here for us to kind of run through. But now, boom, boom. As you can see, that's working a lot faster. So we do have the ability now to move the wither skeletons over here. Uh, I'm gonna grab one of each item and we'll put them all here. Is that it? I think that's everything. Okay. So we gotta get some upgrades and we should just upgrade these as far as we can go. All right, we got 25 of those. Okay, so we got 25 of the diamond upgrades. Uh, they're not the, the, the netherite upgrades yet, but we'll get there. Cool, so this farm is ready for the wither skeletons. So we can go ahead and flip the farm off. You should see that they stop coming in. We'll turn this guy off as well. And now I can fly up here. I can break all of those so I can get in. Oh, sorry, it's probably pretty dark for you guys. And we've got the wither skeletons. Okay, so in here, simply there and we put one of these on the back for power there we go that's working pretty good let's have a look yep so those we don't need to really worry about those will get destroyed and we should see that these are filling up oh we even got another wither skull already very cool so what I'm gonna do here is actually Mine this, mine this, we're gonna... Oh no, I think I just destroyed them. Welp. I guess we're not doing anything with all of the skulls that we have gotten. That's not fun. Hmm, we are having a buildup of essence as well that I would like to pump into this guy have it all accessible here. Hmm, I wonder if we just put an ender tank on top. That wouldn't look half bad. I think we're gonna do that, let's try it. Do we have any other kind of wool? So we have the two tanks here. These are green, it's just not working right. 
Cool. So these are linked together. Um, we're going to need a fluid. Yeah, fluid pipe. Like this. Okay, and I think all we do is just run the pipe underneath. We can put one of these in there. And then we can do that. And... Yep, okay. So then if we break this, do this, and say, essence push. Yep, it's going out. Perfect. All right, and then if we check over here... Yep, we're getting levels. All right, so all of our levels are gonna be coming down to here. Ah, oh, this is great. Store levels two, and we have a lot of stuff that we can do. Now, if I do this, yep, the farm turns off. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and get a couple more in there. I'd like to get creepers in there so we can start getting some gunpowder. Because we do not have a lot. And, oh, uses. Yeah, it's kind of useful for some things. You know, we can try them out. Uh, it's, a, it's in a lot of different mods. Yeah, but it's going to give us some other levels too that I'm excited about. But here, yeah, the creeper, okay. So I'm gonna put this, this, and these, and these into my inventory, and we will put the rest of these back in for now. Okay. All right, so powered spawner. We're just missing this guy, missing these guys. We need one more of these. Okay, there we go. Ah, need some solarium. get a cranking okay so now oh we're missing the middle part four okay what is this a magma cube that might not be the worst idea in the world but i want to do creeper first boom creeper and then spider cave spider would get us spider eyes which are going to be useful so we have a couple a zombified piglet oh we should have done that Oh, well, let's do that too. Can I make these vibrant alloy? Oh yeah, we can make some more. Good. Magma cube, zombified piglin. Okay, so let's place all of these down. Um, always active, active with signal, active with signal. Active with signal. Good. Now we're going to need to make some octatic capacitors. Make three of them. And there we go. So our three octatic capacitors are ready to rock. All right. Actually, I shouldn't. Oh, no. They keep them. Good. All right. We flip it off. Spawner stop working. Man, this is going to be awesome. Plus, the amount of levels we're about to get. Oof. It's going to be great. Okay, now the only thing, I mean, we could run an energy cable all the way up. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. We don't have to worry about it again. Oh, okay, so we desperately need more of these. That is plenty. And in here, I've got this guy, and we got this guy. All right, we break break here all right now everything gets lots of power it's also going to be in the back so it's not going to look terrible and if we flip the lever on yeah look at that that's amazing okay so what i actually want to do is because we're going to start to get kind of a lot of crap here uh, string, gold. We're gonna make, we're gonna do this real fast. I should have thought about this sooner. We have one compacting drawer. I think they make a two by compacting drawer. Hang on. Yes, a simple one. Oh, I'm at a stone, am I? 
Oh yeah, I've upgraded all these to netherite. So they're very fast. Okay, so stone's being made, so now we can make the two by. Nope, not yet. There we go. Okay, and then gold's gonna go into this one. Don't know why I'm back here yet. So we'll say this one in mind. Then we'll lock it. Gold. Then we gotta pair it. Oh wait, I think we can just click it. Yep, there we go, we're in. Good. So then here we'll do string and here we'll do those all right and let's throw some upgrades onto these guys i'm also going to get rotten flesh and i think it'll be a, it'll be a, a smart ish idea to have rotten flesh be available we'll just put that here good turn it back on yep and getting levels it's like as soon as they get in, they're just taken out. Good, okay, creeper glands. Yep, spider eyes, perfect. We're getting the other items here. We'll let it run for just a little bit. Um, do creeper glands, spider eyes. make a salvager we might be able to take these like items what is this used for make spider eyes with it or string okay i think that'll actually be a decent item to have at our disposal oh yeah all right but now we just leave this running and we just keep finding some spawners and making things spawn in but anyways ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit that like button and as always guys don't forget to subscribe but this has been super turtle and i'll see you all in the next video take care peace out Bye bye